All right, we are back and let's go ahead and start looking at how we can change the level of our tank. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and load in our level from PLC. So PLC program dot and take our level. And let's look and see, first of all, if it's greater than zero. And if it is, then we're going to go ahead and store that, which would be a Boolean, either true or false. We're going to store that as can underscore be underscore lowered. So there's our bool, and that'll tell us that we can actually lower our tank. Good. Well, then let's go ahead and reload that uh, level one more time. So come in here. And then we're going to see, is it less than 100? And if it is less than 100, then let's go ahead and store something that says can be raised. Not rised, raised. Got it. Okay, so now we actually know that we can manage our tank in one direction or the other. That's good. So from there, we can go ahead and check our pump and check our valve and see how we need to run this thing. So without further ado, we will go ahead and load PLC underscore, and that's not PLC plus, that's PLC underscore program dot. And let's start by looking at our pump. And if our pump is running, then let's go ahead and jump C to raise level. And I think that will work. I don't think we've got anything else called that yet. And I'll come down here and I'll actually create that. And if that's not true, then we're going to go ahead and look at our valve. So we will then load tab we will go into PLC program dot and let's look at the status of our valve and assuming our valve is open then we will go ahead and jump C and we will go to uh, drop level all right and I can come down here and just go ahead and create that. Good. Whoops. There we go. And let's say that neither one of those is true. And we don't need to go and change our level anything whatsoever. Then let's just go ahead and return. Because uh, aside from that, we're not going to be doing anything else inside of here. So... I've got this load down here. I'm just going to delete that. I'm not even sure why that was there. But let's jump in and see how we can raise the level. So if our pump is running, we know we're going to be filling this tank up. So let's go ahead and start by loading our local level. And then we're going to add to that. And that's going to be of our fill rate. So we're going to add fill rate. Oh, actually, we've got that in our PLC program. So PLC program dot and there's our fill rate. And then we're going to store that into our local level. Got it. And I had put a return right here, but we actually can't return. What we need to do is jump to and we'll put uh, return values. And I think I might have had another return um, up here. No, I think that was just on account of if we're not updating anything. Yes, so we can return here. We don't have anything to update. Anything else, we need to come all the way down and go to return values. So let's go ahead and create that. Now, we've got our level raised. So after that, we can go ahead and actually we need to check our valve somewhere outside. So let's cut that out of there. And we're going to come down here and we will go into drop level. 
And then we also need to check and see if our valve needs to be adjusted because we could theoretically have to do both. We might have our pump running and we might have our valve open. So let's go ahead and copy this out of there and paste it in here. So we're either going to jump to drop level or we're going to jump to return values. Got it. Okay. So then if we drop level, uh, we're going to just go ahead and copy this out because we know we're making an, another adjustment. We're going to take our low and we're going to subtract out our drain rate. So instead of fill rate, that'll be our drain rate. We'll store that into local level. And then once we come down here to return values, this is going to be real simple. We're going to load our local level and we're going to store that into our PLC dot, not level, but actually level in. And then we're also going to load our local temp and store that back into PLC dot and that will be temp in. Good. So that's going to update those values every 500 milliseconds. So we should always have these things going up, coming down, something like that. And then we've got these heat up, drop heat, fill rate, and drain rate values that we can change to affect how quickly the system's environment uh, affects it and how quickly it responds. So, I don't know if I have any bugs in there. I probably do because that's a whole lot of instruction list uh, program just to type out off the top of your head. And you can see how I program. I kind of jump all over the place. It's just the way my brain works. So I know it's hard to follow, but uh, it's just as hard for me to write, so don't feel bad. But uh, we'll get it cleaned out, and at least then you'll have a clean copy of this program once I get it working to actually be able to go through and look at and, you know, see what I'm doing and how it works. So I think I can close out of there, and I've got that working. And now I think I can go ahead and do my initialization. So let's come up here and go into our function block diagram that we're going to create for this. And... What do I need to do with initialization? I really just need to set everything back to zero. I need to get everything back to a simple value. So let's go ahead and right here, I'm just going to create an assign. And what am I going to assign? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assign zero to, and let's go to PLC underscore program dot, and I'll take my alarm exists. Got it. And I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste. I'm just going to be generous and just hit this button for a little bit. I need to create several of those because I have a lot of different values that I need to go through here and initialize. Um, that's a push button. The operator needs to be in control of that. Um, Drain rate and drop heat, I don't need to assign those. Fill rate, heater, I definitely want to turn my heater off if it's running. So let's jump in here to the next one. And let's see what else. Um, we want to reset our heater stop if we've got that coming in. And we also want to get rid of our heater start. So we've got start and stop, and let's just keep on going down the list. We've got tons of stuff that we need to initialize. So heat up is a value. Um, our limit we don't want to affect. Uh, we don't want there to be a high, high level alarm. All right. Let's skip down to high, high level alarm. We don't want there to be a high, high temp alarm. And let's go ahead and scroll down. And let's see. 
we want to leave our limit we don't want to reset our hours we don't want to affect our level or our level limits but we do want to make sure we don't have a low low level alarm let's get back down to that and we want to make sure we're not sending any releases or triggers so our level high high release we can get rid of and our level high high trigger we can get rid of and our level in we don't want to mess with our level LL release is gone and what else we had level LL release we would need to get rid of our level LL trigger and scroll down some more see I told you there was a lot that we needed to initialize I wasn't just making that up okay so let's run all the way back down we don't need to get rid of our minutes we do need to de-energize our mixer in case and I think we already took care of that in our offline mode but just to be sure we want to get rid of our mixer start and our mixer stop got them and let's jump down we're already to the M's so we're getting pretty close to the end I think our mode we know is already fine we don't need to mess with that our mode 2 count we don't want to change uh, we definitely want to make sure we've got our pump and then our pump starts and stops so let's go ahead and jump back in we've got our pump start and we'll scroll down once again and jump after our pump stop there we go pump stop gotcha and skip on down to those P's we don't want to get rid of our seconds we don't want to affect our push buttons because the operator controls those but we want our temp high high release and trigger out of there so let's go ahead and get both of those got them and skip back down to the T's temp in temperature are good we want to make sure that we're not doing anything with our valve at this stage so let's go ahead and reset our valve valve close and valve open commands got them and I don't know that might be it let's go ahead and take one more look down towards the end of the list and see if I'm missing anything Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do at all is it let's try that again we want PLC program dot try dot there we go okay now we're back and okay nothing else so we can get out of there delete and let me just select this rung delete 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 there we go okay so we've got 22 rungs in here reinitializing everything and let's go ahead and close out of that and now looking back at our list I'm just kind of going to go through and do some housekeeping I see that uh, for our alarms I need to make sure that we don't have an alarm active in any mode other than two three or four so in order to do that I'm just going to come back in here into our main routine and let's put some more real code in here so I'm going to say if and that's going to be mode equals zero or actually I'll just go ahead and say if mode is less than two then and we can go ahead and end that if right here and let's just go ahead and kill all of our alarms so that's going to be ll underscore level alarm colon equals zero 
and that's also going to be hh underscore level alarm colon equals zero and then we're also going to have hh underscore temp alarm and that will also be zero so there we go that makes sure that we shouldn't have an alarm unless we're in modes two three or four and at that I'm pretty sure I've got everything that I'm supposed to have in this program um, I can go ahead and just get rid of all that because that's kind of nonsense or I can leave it there just so uh, I have it all in one place and I can see it and for the time being uh, maybe I'll just do that and see if this thing will even run so uh, I'm scared to do it but uh, I'm not even going to actually go and build this thing right now I'm just going to call it a draft and leave it there and end this lecture and I'm going to call that my program so I'm going to go ahead and save this and when we come back it will be time to start putting this thing on the test block and seeing what happens so I'm scared I'm probably going to spend even more time testing it and fixing it than I spent building it we'll find out in the next so until then cheers